In this video, we're going to try to integrate this. So here you've got one block of sine x times this block times this block here. We're going to try and integrate the whole thing. So we are going to use this to uh, to integrate this thing here. So um, so so you can look you can look this up on the internet. Search for the keywords trick identities product to sum. Okay, so so hopefully this this thing will come up if you type in those keywords. Well, uh, so so this is saying to break to break this up. So so here you've got three blocks all multiplying with each other. Let's let's try and break up these two blocks. You could you could break up these two if you wanted to, but let's let's just break up uh, this one and this one. So so to break up a sign and a sign, you would use this sign and a sign. So it's saying if you want to break up uh, sign sign sine of an angle, sine of another angle, then it will be a half cos and then get get the first one, take away the second one and blah blah blah, just blindly follow this. So let's let's try and break this up. So here you've got one block multiplying with another block. I'm going to switch these two around here just because here later on I, I, I'd, I'd much rather have 3x take away 2x than, than, uh, than 2x uh, take away 3x. Uh, this, this, will, this will be neater. Well, let's let's just switch these two around. So so we're going to try and break up sine three x and uh, and cos sorry and then uh, sine sine two x. So basically, we are going to try and break up this block and this block. So if you if you follow this, if you follow this, it's saying that would be a half. So so that would be this half here. That would be this half here. And then, uh, and then, uh, and then, and then, course, and then it, it would be one angle take away the other angle, one angle take away another angle. So it would be course, so it would be, so it would be course, one angle take away the other angle. Okay, and then, uh, and then, and then, and then you've got your minus, and then course, one angle plus the other angle. So here you've got your, your minus, course one angle plus the other angle so so you see so you can uh, you can you can use this to break to break up these two blocks well breaking up these two blocks will give us this will give us this so uh, so this thing here will be 5x okay um, hang on, let, let, me, let me think uh, so sorry this thing here will be it won't be 5x it will be x Okay, uh, it would be x, and then uh, and then you've got your minus here, and then uh, this thing here will be five x. That's this five x here. Uh, so so this thing here will then become this. Basically, factor out the uh, the constants here. Okay, and then now uh, now multiply this out. That will then take you to uh, to this, uh, and then and then now now use the same process to break up sine cos. To break up sine cos. Hang on. Uh, so to break up sine cos, you would you would locate this sine cos. So you would use this, okay, and and then uh, and then do the same for this one here and this one here. So sine sine, sorry sine cos. So sine here cos here. So again, you would use this for to break this one up and to break this one up. Well, to break this up here, you've got one block take away another block. So so we would follow this. We would follow this. So it's saying half. So that's this half here, and then uh, sine uh, one angle plus the other angle. Sine one angle plus the other angle. Okay, and then uh, and then and then you've got your plus here. That's this plus here, and then it's saying sine one angle take away the other angle. One angle take away the other angle. This this would later become sine of zero. Sine of zero will be zero. Well, do the same for 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 this one here. Do the same for this one. So you've got one block. Take away the other block. Do the same for that one, and you would get this. Okay. So uh, so from here, tie this up. It would then become this. So basically, uh, uh, yeah. So 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 yeah. It, it will tidy this whole thing up. It will become this. And then don't forget, sine of zero will, will be zero, so we can forget about that. 
So now, uh, now integrate. This here is easy to integrate now. See, these these are all sums. Earlier we had uh, we had product. We had sine x. Uh, call, uh, we earlier we had sine x, uh, sine two x, and then sine three x. All these are products of each other. Now we've we've uh, we've broken everything up into sums. So here this plus this take away this plus this. So so because they're sums that they're easy to integrate. So uh, so well integrate the whole lot it will then become this and then tidy up so your overall answer will be this. Okay?